Hello, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to actually do a little getaway for me for the day. I'm actually going over to my aunt's house. We're going to be talking about Thanksgiving and what I need to bring over there and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and try a few things that I got beginning of December. So, but let's go ahead and get started. It's going to be a really quick, easy makeup. Like I said, I'm just going to my aunts and talking to my cousin for a few minutes and everything. So I did put um, my sunscreen on and my skincare. This is what I'll be using for that. It's the SunTouch Woe Glow. It's a sunscreen and a primer at the same time. So I'm just using this as my primer. Everything I have will be down below the description box. I'm sorry I'm talking like this, but my camera has been acting so weird lately. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to use this, my Tarte Magicuto Tint Hydrain. And yeah, we're just going to go, I'm just going to go down there. And since Thanksgiving is literally a week away, as I'm filming this, I, uh, yeah, as I'm filming this, filming this on a Monday, so the next two Thursday will be officially Thanksgiving. And I am going to be off those days. I do, will be closing the Wednesday at my store. But I will be off the, um, Thursday, because all stores are closed on Thursday because of Thanksgiving. And then I will be off that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Mon Saturday, Sunday. And originally my Monday, Tuesday. So I'm going to have a little mini vacation. I'm going to have fun. You know, my main thing is when I'm on vacation or mini vacation. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to stay home. Basically, I just decided that I'm going to take a little break from work. Things like that. Give me time to rest and relax and get myself back the way I was. Before all chaos and for everything, you know, for how to deal with I deal with. But, um... Yeah, it's going to be, I'm going to be catching up on sleep, catching up on, you know, a lot of stuff that I miss when I'm working and all that. Kids will be off all next week too because of school, so it's going to be a nice little family, spending time together as a family type week. I'm not going anywhere except for going to my aunt's for Thanksgiving, but other than that, it's like... It's going to be one of those days, weeks, where I'm just going to enjoy sleeping, enjoy relaxing, and all that. So, yeah. Okay. For concealer, I'm just going to use my Boing Cilla right here. So, I keep checking out my battery because, like I said, my battery has been going really low lately, fast. So, I don't know because the way where I'm plugging in or uh, my memory card or what, but it sucks. But, yeah. So, what are you guys' plans for Thanksgiving? Are you guys going to have family over? Are you going to have friends over? Are you going to get a little get-together? Are you going over somewhere else? Are you going on vacation? You know, people have a lot of planning and stuff like that so I'm just curious comment down below what you guys are going to be doing and where you're going and all that I would love to know and hope anyone stays safe I do have a Thanksgiving look that is going to be posted on Thanksgiving it's my bonus video sometimes I do those bonus videos especially around the holiday since I really you know that way you guys can see you know, a Thanksgiving look on Thanksgiving. I said, seen it, you know, a few days before Thanksgiving. So, yeah. Check that below. That will be on that day. So, I am going to be busy and work the day for. Luckily, our store closes. So, we won't be open the whole time. It's going to be like Christmas Eve. We close early. Same thing on Thanksgiving Eve. And all of that. So, yeah, I really am excited to, you know, be off for that week. I've been in my job for almost two years now, and it been, I loved it. I love the people I work with. It's a good company, but, you know, you just need that time away to get yourself back to normal and 
de-stressed and catch up on sleep and catch up on stuff that you can do while you're constantly working so many days. And, you know, being a mom, I have to walk. I have no choice. But it's going to be nice to just spend time with me, my husband, my kids for that week. And only got to deal with working that one day and coming home early. So, yeah, I'm excited just to catch up on stuff and be and relax for those days. Do I have to come back? Okay, so we do have some lip products. I'm going to go put one on. This is from the one that I did. It is called, I do have the box. It's like the lip, um, should I get the box? I think I did. Here we go. It is the Sparkling Clean one that I've shown. It has a toner, a lot of lip products, a blush, a this, um, the eyebrow product, which I am going to put on, and the mascara, but I'm not going to put on the mascara because I am going to try the newish one, which is the newish one that came out recently, which is the um, Fan Fest one by Benefit. So... But I am going to put this on. This is supposed to be a glaze infused plumping gloss in Taco Tuesday. So I'm going to put this on. And then I have another product that I'm going to put on that I've not tried before. So these are products that I literally have not used, tried, or anything like that. So I'll give you a little swatch. But this will look like really pretty. I don't like fully believe. I mean, it's really glazing and like it gives you a little tint. So you definitely can see like the color from it. But I really don't feel like any tingling. Like, I want to think of like the buxom or the, um, but that's really pretty. It almost remind me, I mean, it doesn't really have that plumping type look. I think the gloss just make supposed to make your lips look plumped. So, yeah, I'm gonna try the other one, which is this one, the Lardless. I've always heard great thing about the Lardless. Forget the filler. This was also in that. No, this is also this was also in the um. Yeah, the holiday must-have set. So this is the, all that. Like I said, I'll link all that above. That way you guys know what each kit came with and if it's worth it, not worth it. But personally, I want the reason I got this stuff because I do want to try it. And I do have, plus I have backups and stuff that I love. This is more like a stickier, somewhat stickier gloss. But like I said, I heard great things about it. It smells good. It's, um, just to give you that, um, nourishing effect, the plumping, the smoothing, and all that. So this is what I'll be wearing at the end, but I'm going to keep this on my lips. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to do some setting. So like, I'm not trying the Huda Beauty setting powder. Like I said, I've heard great things about this also. So this also came in that set, the um, Holiday Must Have set, and I've heard so much stuff, great things about it, and all of that. It comes with a little puff, so I'm going to use this underneath the eye, then I'm going to use a different one, as soon as I get this out. It. But this is in banana bread. So basically, you'll just put the pup in, shake it, and then you turn it and so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try the puff. 
I'm going to set this any die. Like I said, people have loved this. This Bingo Classic. They bought the big, big ones of these and went through them and all that. So, I'm going to go ahead and set underneath my eyes. I mean, I'm going to actually, I'm actually going to try my puff. This one right here, which I do love. So, like I said, I'm going to get some more and I'm just going to use this to set. I need my eyes. It's supposed to be very smoothing, blurring type powder. Which I do. And then I'm going to use a brush to sweep away the accent of it. I mean, it looks good. I definitely would have to try it some more to see exactly what people are talking about. But I think the color is good and it definitely works for my skin tone. So if I do get through this and love it and all that, then I am probably am going to buy it at full size. Like I said, it's something that is like literally a cult classic. So it does seem like it's blurring a lot. Like I do understand why people are liking this. So, I am going to keep trying the Huda one. I will get back to you, even though most of you probably have heard about it and probably have loved it and everything. But, my first time trying it. So, it's like, I want to get my own impression and my own, you know, opinion. But, it feels, it looks very smoothy. I'm telling you right now, it does. Okay, I'm going to put another... Um, one on me and because I'm actually going to top it off I did get the hourglass oh before I do that sorry I have the also say blush so this is supposed to be a very pigment blush in chili it's supposed to be a dewy blush and I love say I love the star glow um Super gel, that's amazing. I like using it as a primer. I like using it as a highlighter. I mean, that is really good. So I'm like, okay, let's try to say product also came in the um, holiday must have. So, yeah. No, sorry. Came in the special clean. So this is probably the clean product. Another blush came into it in the um, holiday one, but I've already tried it and already used it. It was the Milk Makeup Little Stick in Work. I've already tried that, so I'm going to try this. I'm only going to do maybe one little dot because, like I said, it's a very, like, supposed to be a very pigmented one, and I don't know what pigment this is. So I'm going to take my brush one that I use and I'm just gonna put it exactly on the brush and we're just gonna dot it around and see how it works but it's pretty I'm like it's literally like a out of the code type one it really does look like you know if you have winter and all that and you're coming out from the cold and all of that Wow. Just give like a little glow, like a little dew. I'm going to put a tiny bit more. So this time I'm going to put it on my cheeks. I don't want to put like too much, but this is beautiful. This is definitely like a cold, coming in from the cold type weather type blush. And it blends out really beautifully. And give me like a little glow. I like it. I'm going to keep trying out. But like I said. So far I like it. Okay now we can set our face. I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Um, I'm going to use Fairlight powder. But I think I'm, what I'm going to actually do. 
I'm just going to set like the T-zones, but then I'm going to use my hourglass one, and I did get this. This is the limited edition hourglass. I was going to do a first impression on it, but I'm like, never mind, it already been done, it been passed, now we're all in the holiday sets and doing all that, so this is the light type one. Um... On the website, on Sephora, they do have light, medium, and dark. Now, on the Hourglass website, you can customize what you want. They have another one that is a owl one. So, the cool thing about that is that, yes, this is expensive. It's like 90 bucks. But you can decide what cover you want and what shades you want. So you can actually on the Hourglass website customize that. So I'll link the put the Hourglass website down below just in case you guys are interested in one of being going on there. It does come with two finishing powders, two blush and a bronzer. I'm going to be using the actual powder and then I'm going to use one of the finishing powders uh, highlight and um, the finishing powder just to make my face look a little more glowy because I feel like my face is looking a little dry here and need some, you know, glow. Actually, never mind. I'm just going to use this to set all over. So I'm going to use this, this shade right here. Like I said, I will put it down below and all that. So I'm just putting this normally where I would want to set and you can still see like the glow from the cheek but yeah it gives you like a little glow within and I've never tried this before I haven't tried any hourglass products so when the uh, time for the limited edition part came out I'm like okay I need it so you can see give you that beautiful glow now I am going to kind of go over the um with this powder right here because again I just want I want to look glowy but I also want my makeup to last pretty much all day so I'm just gonna go over that part of it to look like the glow within but also keep the makeup on but I think the combo of this is like beautifully like, you definitely see the glow, definitely see the glow from blush and all that. So, I am enjoying this. I've been enjoying it since I got it. Like I said, I was going to um, do a little first impressions, but then I decided that uh, I changed my mind. So, I'm going to use the bronzer part of this, and we're going to bronze up my face, give it a little tie on and you can see it is so beautiful like this stuff is beautiful and unfortunately it's limited edition so I am but yeah those are the colors they are like really like beautiful and stuff so I'm excited to have this, excited to use it, and all of that. So, for blush, I think since I have more like a reddish type tone, I'm going to go with this blush right here. Just to complement my blush there. And give me a little bit of more glow and just to set this. I always like to set everything because I feel like that makeup is going to last long if I set it. See, that's pretty. I am going to use my regular brush to blend all this. That way it won't look so dark but yeah this is just really beautiful so for highlight they do have two different highlights they have this highlight and then a very soft highlight 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and do like the soft highlight. Let's see, which one the finish powder? Because I know one of these are the finish powder. Okay, so. Oh, number six was the finishy powder. Metallic powder strobe light. No, three. Okay, so number three is that. And then what is. So we have, yeah, you have two finishy powder, one, two blushes, one bronzer, and one um, highlight, which is this right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. This is really nice. I mean, I really do like the palette. Like I said, they do have this, not limited edition. I know they have the normal palette for um, Hourglass. But if you guys want the limited edition one, I will put down the Hourglass website just in case you do want to customize the palette, the... Um, shades and everything so it's still gonna be 90 bucks so just remember that it's a very pricey one but truthfully i think it is worth it because even though it's a limited edition it's not really going to be here for a long time i'm still going to get plenty of use out of it and my face actually looks good i mean it looks healthy it looks glowy the blush the highlight everything looks good so yeah so, this is something that is very awesome. I did get this in my Ipsy. I will do a short before this video. So, this, the Ipsy one will be first and then this one. So, it's a really cool palette. It's called the um, Alamo Desire palette. And it says, unlock the power, discover the endless possibility of your destiny eyeshadow palettes and has an offering. Whether you look for a shimmering pearl finish or a cream matte that makes bond statement, bold statement, a 10 unique shades blend together would create a matte of beauty and all that. Tap shimmer on the lid with a dry finger for a dazzling pump or sheen or spray your brush to miss and make the maximum color payoff. So, the cool thing about this palette, I have tried stuff from Alamore. I have their like blush palette when they first came out. Love it. Okay, so as you can see, there's a little thing right here that says Dead this no something like that. What you do, and like literally you cannot open this. Like I tried. And then I realized what it says unlock. So, basically what you do, you push it over to where it says unlocked, and then your palette opens. So, this is really awesome. It says create to provo pro pro desire. So, yeah, I'm excited. They, these sheen, these literally look like spring, summer, somewhat fall colors. I mean, they're all bright, and you don't think a fall would come to this, but it's beautiful. The only thing, it doesn't got a mirror in it, which kind of sucks, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, and like I said, I'm just going to make, I'm just going to do a simple eye look. Like I said, I'm just going with my cousin, so I'm not going to do anything bold. But I'm going to go ahead and go into... Where do I want to go? Because there's so many different colors. <laughs> um, let's go to Kamel. Actually, let's swatch some. And let me get all these swatches off for this. Oh, look like my battery's actually lasted for a long time. Okay. All these swatches off. 
Okay, so these blues and purples, oh look, he's so beautiful. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, let me go into the darker color because I oh wow. This blue right here. Okay. Some of them okay, but some of them is like eh. But that blue, I'm telling you right now. That blue. So beautiful. Okay. Um I know I want to do more wintry type look, more fall type look. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the combo color first for my inner corner. I mean for my um, crease. Then we'll do timber and I think what we're going to do is, but let's go in this first and I'll decide what I want in my inner corner. Okay, they are a little powdery. Okay, this does have a little powder on it. So you might want to have a brush. So let me go ahead and do that. Color is actually showing up. I'm going to move you guys closer. Now we can see exactly what I'm doing. It is actually showing up. So color is showing up. <clears throat> Tech palette with pops of colors. So you can make it fall with these deeper colors. So I'm going to go into Timber, which is like a grayish type tone. And I'm just going to make this a little bit more deeper. And I'm just going to put this on the outer edge. Kind of like not really covering up yellow but kind of connecting it together so I think for this <clears throat> actually I'm going to do a little um I know I said I wasn't going to go out but I'm going to use that deep purple I don't know this is just calling my name so I'm going to use a smaller brush and I'm just going to use this to deepen it up a little bit more on the edge. Actually, I do like that. Now, let me see what I want on the lid. Like that purple, just a blue. I think what I'm going to do is still. That blue just really is popping. So I'm going to go actually this one, the very beautiful, I want to lose this beautiful blue. There's really no fallout, so truthfully, I actually like it. I mean, you got the gray up here, but then you got the light of the blue. So far, I think I do like it. I mean, it is really, 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 really beautiful. So what you do once you close it. You'll take this right here and you'll pull it over here. And literally, you can't open it up. It's it's the most beautiful, genius thing I've ever had in my time palettes that I ever used was that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the uh, highlight in this for my inner corner. So I'm just gonna use this color that I did on my cheeks. And we're just going to use this to do a little highlighting. Now, next is brows. So, what I'm going to do is that I have the tinted one, but then I have the clear one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tinted one because, frankly, like I said, really, when it comes to me filling in my brows, it's only because if I have to, if I'm going somewhere. But, like I said, going with your aunt's family and just really. Not that um, type of gathering. Now, I did do this stuff on my Thanksgiving look, which you guys, like I said, will see on that day. It's already posted. It's already been edited. 
just got to wait till the day to view it. But I like to fill this in. My Gimme Brow, you guys know I love this. This is my Holy Grail. It's what I use all the time to fill in my brows. It's something that I am not stopped using. And probably will keep using for a long period of time. But I have my other ones, the drugstore ones. I have the e.l.f. one that I really do enjoy. And then I have, like I tried, the, like I said, the coastal one, the tinted one. That was good too. That I actually kind of missed and went back. But, like I said, stick with my benefit when I don't have those. Because that's how much I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go in this clear one. I know it's dumb to do this twice, and I know it's like, okay, you got a clear brow. But, like I said, I love the Kosa one. It just... If it's anything like I remember, then I'm going to love it. And all of that, so... It's almost like the thicket, um, or oh, the brow glue, or the glue, brow glue from Benefit, not from Benefit, from NYX. It almost has that same type of gluey type, um, texture, in a way. So, yeah. But this is what I look like. Those are my brows. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. I'm just going to use my e.l.f., um makeup mist and all that then we'll do brows and lips and that'll be the last of it I was going to do mascara but I don't like doing mascara especially when I have special when I spray my face because I feel like it just gets it just doesn't work for me so okay now we could try Okay, I was going to try the tattoo one, but I'm really not an eyeliner type person. I know, like I said, I'm not, this is not the type occasion to do this, truly. My opinion. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do a mask and then we'll do the lips, the lawless lips. I'm just going to use that. I'm not going to put in a lip liner or anything. But this is the newest one that they have. It came... In this set, of course, the, um, what set did it come from? Not this one. Oh, the mini mascara. So, it came with this. You actually get a coupon and all that. So, it comes with four mascaras. Two of them, a lot of them not tried. The milk one was kind of new. Then you had the benefit one that's kind of new. But if you tried any of these and if you liked it, you can actually use the certificate that's in this and we'll place it for a full size. So I'm going to, that was why I want to try this because I've heard great things about this and all that. And this is the wand. So you guys, what it look like, it's a little curve wand. It reminds me of a lot of my other ones I really do enjoy. Now the problem I have is that if I put too much on, it start clumpy, and I don't like clumpy lashes. I like fan out, I like Bambi lashes, I like the one from my L one that's called the Bambi one. Butterfly type lashes, those are ones I like. I don't want spidery lashes, I don't want them to be clumped up, things like that. So, we will see how this goes. Like I said, I've heard great things about this. My first time using it too, so. It doesn't feel like a very wet mascara. I feel like a very, like, drier type mascara. Which I feel like that sometimes the drier ones get more clumpy than the, um, non-drier ones. Does it feel too heavy? Does it look as clumping up so much? I mean, what do you think? Does it look bigger? Look like I actually got lashes. Let's try the other side. 
it's okay don't mind this it's uh, this always happens every time my sucky watery okay I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll wipe it off but my lashes on the other hand I think I'm starting to like them I mean they look really fanned up they look good they look like the Bambi lashes I mean they don't don't look clumpy whatsoever Not bad. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna keep trying it, but so far so good. Okay, so let me go ahead and take off the lip products from earlier. Then we'll try the lawless, and then we will be done. And I will be wiping this off while I leave, so don't worry about that. Okay, so now we're gonna try the Forget the Fellow Lawless Lip Plumping Lime Smoothing Gloss. Like I said, I was going to do this on its own, and we're going to see how this looks. Now, I love the dope off can. literally look like going to hug your lips really good. So, and this is in the shade uh, Velvet. Yeah, Velvet. So, it smells like gummies, like sweethearts. Very fruity gummies. A little bit tingly. Definitely could feel a tingle. But it's not bad. Like, Lily remind me of the Buxom lip glosses. Those I can handle. This is not, like, as bad as a lip ejection was. Oh, my God. Mm. Okay. I kind of can see the hypes with this. Seriously. This is definitely going to stay with me. It feels like, not really tingly, but, oh God, the color is beautiful. Like, this is so beautiful. I love the application, and it just, it, it it's not tingly. It just feels like it's doing something, and it's plumping, and it's doing its thing, but in a not a bad tingly hurt way. Not like I want to take this off right away. I can't stand this. This is more like a comfortable type feeling. Mm. That's beautiful. I love the gloss. It feels good. I mean, yeah. But this is my final look using some stuff that I got from this four favorite collection that I showed earlier. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. That way you guys know I upload. I will have all this down below, including the Sephora and the Hourglass for the little palette. And everything I'm wearing. So, yeah, it will be all down below. I will keep wearing this stuff, and I will give my reviews and thoughts later on in a video to tell you guys if I like it, didn't like it. Um... But yeah, so far I like the lip product, the cheat product, even this product. So yeah, that's everything. So have a lovely day and night, like I said, and I'll see you later. Bye.